His Excellency Mr. Sanjay Kumar Verma, Honorable Speakers, Staff of the Embassy of India, Honorable Guests, and my dear friends, JB. Life should be great rather than long. With this beautiful thought of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, I, Shara Shambhurkar, studying in grade 4, would like to welcome everyone present over here on the auspicious occasion of Ambedkar Jati celebration. I am delighted by the opportunity provided to me by the Embassy of India to present my thoughts on the 131st birth anniversary celebration of Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. I am very much inspired by the biography of Dr. Ambedkar by reading the book Young Ambedkar. Ambedkar Jayanti, also known as Pain Jayanti, is an annual festival which is celebrated on 14th of April every year. It is celebrated on the occasion of birth anniversary of Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, who was born on 14th April 1891 in Mao village of Madhya Pradesh. He completed his BA in Economics and Political Science and completed his PhD in Economics from Columbia University. He was a master of 64 subjects and could speak 11 languages proficiently. Whenever people talk about Dr. Ambedkar, they always limit him to the leader of downtrodden people. They always limit him to the leader of other lands. Is that he was limited for only this work? Other introductions people have about him. He was the principal architect of the Indian constitution well, that of course is the truth, but it would not be confined, and he was more than what people know about him. Even today, after so many years, Dr. Ambedkar is not fully understood or appreciated by many. When people talk about him as a leader of downtrodden people, as a chief architect of the Indian Constitution, but it would be incomplete to say just that. He was a multi-talented personality. He was a politician, social reformer, a jurist, anthropologist, economist. He was the first law minister of India after independence. He had made many other contributions in different areas for the integration of India. He strived for equality among all castes. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar taught all Indians equality and fraternity through the drafting of the Constitution of India, the preamble of which states that all Indians are equal in the eyes of law. Reserve Bank of India was conceptualized by the guidelines from Dr. Ambedkar's book, The Problem of the Rupee, Its Origin and Its Solution. He was the savior of laborers who changed the working time from 12 hours to 8 hours. Revolutionary Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was the first person who brought equal pay for equal work irrespective of the gender. I measure the progress of community by the degree of progress which women have achieved. What a powerful statement to have! Dr. Ambedkar envisioned an India where rights were universal and inclusive of women. Dr. Ambedkar paved the way for Indian women to legally vote, divorce, and own property. He was the man behind Hirakum Dam, Damodar River Valley Project, and many others. Dr. Ambedkar was not only the man of intellect, but he was the man of great moral character. He was a liberal minded leader. Dr. Ambedkar embraced Buddhism because Buddha's teachings are based on values of morality and ethics. Following Baba Sahib, millions of his followers embraced Buddhism. 14th April is celebrated as World Knowledge Day globally. Ambedkar Jayanti is not only 
celebrated in India, but is celebrated globally. The only way to respect him is to praise from your heart, walk on his path, and adopt his principles. And last, I would like to conclude by quoting, Cultivation of mind should be the ultimate aim of human existence. Jai Bhim Jai Bhim.